The title of my speech is Never Give Up On Your Dreams. And I want to start off with a Bible verse. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7. But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. And so it is. Amen. I chose this Bible verse because a lot of times people feel like giving up and they feel like failure is their only option. But that's why I'm here today to tell you that as long as you have faith in yourself, faith in God and faith that you will make it, there is no way you can't succeed. So I just want to know now, can you all raise your hand? Does anybody out there have a dream? Anybody? Mm. And I just want to know now, what, what's some of you all dreams? Let's, let's start up here. Let me, let me get a mic. Angel, what's your dream? My dream is to become a veterinarian. Okay, veterinarian. You better work. All right. And, and what's your dream, Eddie? My dream is to travel the world and one day become a uh, published author. Okay, okay. Some good dreams. Good dreams. And audience, if you guys could just raise your hand for me again, do you all ever feel like giving up sometimes? Do you? Do you just feel like you've been working so hard and, and it's just not paying off? <laughs> well, sometimes I feel that way too. But that's why I'm here again today to tell you that you're closer than you think and you can never give up on your dreams. And I'll tell you a story why I know. A father, a mother, and a daughter traveled the land. They visit, they visit these beautiful mountaintops and see these beautiful views. And the father decided to get a head start. So he's climbing up this mountain, and it becomes so treacherous and so hard and, and so unbearable. And, and audience, can you tell me to tell him, never give up on your dreams? Never give up on your dreams. So he's, he's climbing up this mountaintop, and he's climbing to the top, and finally he just says, you know what, forget it. I, I can't do it. I'm not going to make it. So he turns around to head back down the mountain. And then a man comes down and says, stop, wait. Never give up on your dreams. You're closer than you think. So the man turns around and he says, look, I've been going up this mountain for some time now and I still haven't reached the top. I'm never going to make it. I'm out of here. So the man says, look, stop. Never give up on your dreams. You're closer than you think. So the man said, okay, I, I guess I'll try. So he's going up this mountaintop again and he's struggling and he's stumbling and it becomes treacherous. And audience, can you help me to tell him to never give up on his dreams? Never give up on your dreams. So he's struggling, and, and, and it starts raining, and it starts hailing, and he's even on his knees. But then he opens up his eyes so wide, and he looks around, and he sees the beautiful view, and he just starts breaking down crying because he knows that if he had given up, he would have never achieved his dream. He would have never reached that mountaintop, which he had, which he had been working so hard for. So that's why I challenge you to ask yourself, what is your sign? What is that angel for you that can reassure you that you're going down the right path? Because for me, I just had my sign last week. I was watching Law and Order. That's my favorite show. I, I know. I, I love that show, though. And, and you know how the credits are going by, and you're like, come on, just hurry up and get to my show. Well, do you know, lo and behold, the credits were going by, and I saw my name, Lauren Ward, come across the screen. I said, record. I started doing The Matrix. I said, well, I was, I was so happy to see my name. I I'm like, Mom, th Dad, they running in there. they like, oh, child, what is, what is going on? I'm like, it, it's me. It's, it, it's my name on the screen. And I, I was so excited because I'm like, see, I knew I was supposed to be that reporter and that anchor. I knew I was supposed to be a motivational speaker with my own show and my business. I knew I was supposed to be an actress with my own studio. I'm like, see, I knew God wasn't staring me down the wrong path. I, he put it in my heart for a reason. And even just a few weeks ago at a communication event, my friends were like, Lauren, that's the CEO of the company. You need to speak with her. So I'm running through the crowd. I'm dodging. I'm like, ma'am, if I could just please have a moment of your time. She said, young lady, I just really can't speak with you right now. I said, just please, one moment. She said, I, I have to go. I said, but your hair sure is lovely. She said, oh, oh, thank you. I said, I said, you're welcome. And then I went in for the kill. I started talking about... <laughs> I started talking about Howard, and I started talking about Northwestern, and I tried to give her my resume. She said, I can't accept that. But then she turned to give me a business card, and she said, send me your resume tomorrow. I said, hot diggity dog. Boy, I'm cooking with oil now. I'm cooking with fire. I'm a hot mamma jamma walking these streets. 
I said, see, as long as I remember to always keep sight of my sign and persistence, there's no way I can fail. I mean, think about this. Luke chapter 11, verse 8. If he does not get up to give him loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. That's, ooh, don't miss that, y'all. That's so important. As long as you have your sign to reassure you that you're going down the right path and you have persistence, I'm telling you, there's no way you can't make it to the top. And think about this. God has already given you your spiritual genes from him, and you have your physical genes from your parents, but your heavenly father has already blessed you with the skill set that you need. Don't become complacent with mediocrity. Know that God has so much in store for you and for me. And you might want to get your pen and paper out for this one, but you need to know to deactivate and activate. Deactivate all of the negativity in your life. Well... My friend, they, they didn't get their dream, so I guess I won't get mine. Deactivate. Oh, well, my friend, uh, you know, they've been struggling with, with drug abuse for a long time. I guess that's how I'm going to end up. Deactivate. Oh, well, my friend didn't get their dream job, so I guess I won't get mine. Deactivate and activate all the positivity. Activate, I am somebody. Activate, I will be successful. Activate, I am going to the top. Activate, by any means necessary. Activate, I am beautiful. Activate, you cannot stop me even on my worst day. Activate. <laughs> and you know, if you want that negative spirit out of your system, ask God to remove it from you, because you know he will. Once you get that negative thinking away and that negative spirit and all of that energy out of you, you'll be surprised what type of alternate plans you can make. I mean, for example, before when you had the negative energy within you, you could be filling out scholarships online for a website and it didn't work out for you and, be, and you'll be like, well, guess it didn't work out. I guess that's it. I'm, I'm a failure. But no, once God has removed that negative energy, you'll be filling out a scholarship online on a website and that didn't work out, but you will go to the next website, see if they have some scholarships for you to fill out. CB, CBS was hiring and you didn't get that job, but you'll go right down the street to ABC and fill out some applications. You were going through something negative yesterday, something that was draining you, but you woke up today and thank God for bringing you to church and you praising the Lord. Hallelujah! You know? You praising Him. And sometimes this is how you have to think, audience. You, you got to get angry about your dream. I mean, you, you got to be so passionate and so hungry about your dream to the point where you feel like I done been through hell and hot water to get this. I'm not going to let anybody take my dream. Boy, if somebody come up to me right now and say, Lauren, we're going to have to take that bachelor's and that master's back from you. Boy, I'll be like lying off the Wizard of Oz and be like, put them up. Put, put, put them up. Boy, I, boy, somebody come up to you and say, I want to take your dream or I want to take your house. I want to take your child. I, I want to take your, your, your home from you. Boy, you better be like Bernie Mac and say, bust the move. Boy, I, bust the move. Boy, look them up and down and say, I wish you would try to take my dream. You ain't taking mine. And I mean, if somebody comes up to you, because you all have to be ready. If you're a singer or a dancer or a painter or even an artist, if, if someone comes up to you right now and asks you to perform your dream, you got to be ready on the spot. Because best believe, if a news director came in here and said, oh, yes, uh, we're holding auditions um, for the reporter or the anchor spot, and we want to hear your voice, I'd be like, this is Lauren Ward for ABC7 News. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'll flip it on in a second, you know? And then this is my thing. How dare you want to give up on your dream when in 1850, Harriet Tubman freed slaves for you? How dare you want to give up on your dream when in 1955, Rosa Parks sat down on the bus for you? How dare you want to give up on your dream when in 1964, Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison for you? How dare you want to give up on your dream when in 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated for you? How dare you want to give up on your dream when in 2009, Barack Obama became the first African American American president for you. How dare you want to give up on your dream when on the third day Jesus Christ rose just for you? How dare you? I had a dream that I would attend Howard University and obtain my bachelor's. I had a dream that I would attend Northwestern University and obtain my master's. I had a dream that I would become a part of Phi Sigma Pi National Honor Fraternity. I had a dream that I would become a part of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And I achieved that. And if you think my God is done with me, then you just don't know my God. Boy, he's just getting started. 
He's just getting started. That's why I'm attending NABJ this year, the National Association of Black Journalists, because my friend went last year and she told me she received her first job opportunity from it. So I'm going this year to get what's mine. And boy, if you think I'm going to go down there and come back empty handed, woo, I'm going to go down there and knock eggs for it and then take what's mine. I'm going to take what's mine. For I came too far to fail. I worked too hard to get to this point. I have to go after my dream like it's no tomorrow, by any means necessary. I mean, LeBron James said it best when the man was interviewing him. He said, LeBron, how do you think people view you? LeBron James said, I ain't even supposed to be here. I ain't even supposed to be here. Please don't miss that, y'all, because 1619 through 1865, African Americans were treated like slaves. 246 years, we were treated like animals. Couldn't even sit in the same restaurant. Couldn't even walk down the same sidewalk. Couldn't even drink from the same water fountain. We're too busy focusing on what we don't have, focus on what we do have. I ain't even supposed to be here, but I am. But I am. You have the freedom and the right to achieve your dreams. Nobody can hold you back. And LeBron James said, I ain't got no worries. Why are you worried about what somebody else is thinking of you or what somebody is saying about you? Focus on your dream. Why are you worried about how somebody hair look? Focus on your dream. Why are you worried about how big somebody's house is? Focus on your dream. Because I guarantee you, once you do that, your knees might buckle, but you won't give up. You might get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out. Once you know who and whose you are, baby, you can conquer the world. Johnny Coleman says it works if you work it. And you best to believe that all you need to do is work it. Once you do that, your spirit will feel greater. You will feel lighter. You will go past the sky, past the planets, past the stars. Boy, even on your worst day, your enemy still can't drag you down. You were born with the goods to be nothing but successful. Nothing but successful. Let's take it back to my Bible verse. But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Use what you have to get what you need, because the Lord would have never placed it in your heart if he felt like you couldn't achieve it. And this is something that I do when I feel discouraged or when I feel like I can't go further. And I'll do it for you now. L is for love. I is for inner power. F is for fight. E is for enthusiasm. Life is a challenge. What's your next step? What are you gonna do about it? Some people wake up in the morning feeling sad or thinking about yesterday. But when I wake up in the morning, I praise the Lord for waking me up today. I wake up happy and thinking about today and how I can better myself or better someone else in some small way. I get on the bus and I see people looking out the window. I say good morning, but no one speaks back. So I sit down on the bus and I think to myself, What's wrong with these people? Are they tired? Are they angry? Why didn't they speak back? So I get on the train in the middle of the day and I see people looking out the window. Once again, I think to myself, what's wrong with these people? What's wrong with society? So I sit down next to my cousin and I tell her that I'm about to get up and do a motivational piece and make these people feel special and happy. And she says, Lauren, don't do that because these people will think you're crazy. They'll think less of you. They'll talk about you. And I say to her, you know what you're right, because who am I to be brilliant, talented, gorgeous, or even fabulous? Actually, who am I not to be? We were born to make manifest the glory of the Lord within us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same, same. So I stood up and did my motivational piece, and it went a little something like this. Never give up on your dreams because you will be successful. You just have to believe, believe, believe. Never give in, never give out. Don't let anybody get the best of you. Just know who you are and who you are and have faith in yourself and faith in the man above. And all you have to do is achieve what? All you have to do is achieve what? All you have to do is achieve what? Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Come on, y'all. Never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Tap the person in front of you, never give up on your dreams. Tap the person in back of you, never give up on your dreams. Tap the person to the right of you, never give up on your dreams. Tap the person to the left of you, never give up on your dreams. 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 Your dreams, your dreams, your dreams. Thank you.
Thank you.